So I heard about Dominic Urban through Gary Trent, who owns Oki Power Washing out in Oklahoma City. Gary is a longtime Footbridge client. He's crushing it out there. And Gary was like, dude, Dom is, is going to pass me up, man. He's doing so good. He's crushing the reviews. And little did I know Dom was going to email me about eight months later, meaning a week ago, he hit me up and I didn't know he has three Footbridge media sites. Guys, if you don't know who Footbridge media is, I, I beat this dead horse, but this is really cool because he has three separate businesses with three separate Footbridge websites. I'll put the link to Footbridge Media and the 199 deal. You can only get it through me. It'll be in the description, but let's listen to this interview about marketing, about what he has to say about building these three separate businesses. His story is very unique and why he relies on Footbridge Media to build out his contractor websites for all of his businesses. And there may be a fourth business in there somewhere. Let's go ahead and jump into the interview. Yes. Dominic, how are you doing, brother? Doing good, Aaron. Appreciate you having me on, man. It's going to be fun. This uh, this episode, I'm going to try to bring the energy, the excitement, and the, the motivation, man, because I know there's a lot of young guns out there, a lot of young guys, and even older guys that are wanting to get into the power washing business, window cleaning, or whatever business that you're trying to get into. And Aaron, you've said it multiple times. Uh, it's all about the marketing, you know? So obviously we're going to talk about food bridge. I know you're going to ask me questions about that. That's probably like the first thing we'll probably talk about because <laughs> it's the most important thing, but uh, hit me with whatever questions you have. I'll definitely run on a few topics if I do. Just catch me. Tell me to slow down. And I'll oh, good, man. I love these like informal talks because it just kind of allows us to free flow. And I know the guys out there who at least watch my channel, they definitely appreciate the uh, genuineness of that. So they 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 like that kind of discussion, that podcast esque. You know what I mean? So let's just roll, dude. So you started. What business did you start first? You started. Go ahead. Yeah. So the first is Urban Cleaning Pros. So. I'm in Oklahoma, North OKC area, and I started window cleaning uh, about two years ago. Quickly found out that that is small time. <laughs> that is, uh, you know, you find out about window cleaning, didn't even know people pay to, to clean windows. Um, and to fast forward, Gary, which you interviewed on one of your episodes, who owns Oki Power Washing, I called this guy and I said, hey, man, is this power washing thing real? You know, because I've started this little window cleaning thing. And um, I'm interested about power washing. So I call him. He's like, yeah, come up. I'll show you. I'm doing a graffiti removal job. The dude makes $500 in 30 minutes. <laughs> so I was like, F it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. 500 bucks in 30 minutes. Are you kidding me? Like, I'm over here being a manager at an anytime fitness gym. Sure. And uh, I said, you know what? I had, I had no money at the time. And but I had a credit card. I was just like, oh, credit card. Let's do this. And uh, that was back in 2020. So right as the pandemic is going on, uh, which everybody was saying, don't start a business, don't start a business. You know, it's, it's too scary. It's too scary. Just like it is now, right? With inflation. So I took my ball sack out and I said, I'm going for it. <laughs> so I'm going for it. So uh, Urban Cleaning Bros was, was the first one. And I, I remember, I remember like it was yesterday. It was you and maybe a couple of people. It might've been just you before I set up Google my business, I knew for a fact that I couldn't do the marketing and the website. And I knew you, I, I knew if I was going to do this, I wanted to do it right. And you had talked about footbridge. I checked them out and, uh, I set it up back back then. They were only charging 174, um, I think a month. And I think I, I'm still locked into that price. So I started urban cleaning pros and dude, I went on a tear an absolute tear. And my motto is, I don't even know if I'm, you know, hopefully you might have, might have to bleep this out, but it's all about busting ass, you know, just like when you were a kid and you got your ass beat for doing something wrong. At, even as a grown man, I'm physically having to bust my own ass every single day and pretend like this little business is just restarting over and over and over. And so mm. even though we're, we're just cleaning windows and we're just power washing, dude, that first year, I just you can see how many reviews we have. The reason we have so many reviews is because I literally 
here's a little tactic, a little takeaway, a little piece that people can use when asking for reviews. A lot of, a lot of people have systems in place this. that, that uh, there's, a, there's a few systems that people can auto generate and, and, you know, send these, these little links by text. I'm old school. I'm literally looking at Betty or John, whoever the customer is. And I'm saying, John, hey, this is after we're done, right? And I'll mention it before, but I'll say, hey, John, I'm going to send you a link. It's a Google rating link. If you have two seconds to share a five star rating, I don't even ask, I don't even say review, you know, because I don't want people to have to think they got a title. Don't be honest, by God. Yeah, I need a five yeah. star damn review. <laughs> I, and I say, I look him dead, Aaron, I say this right here. I say, John, my family lives and dies on these reviews. I'm going to share this link to you. If, if you got two seconds to spare, my family depends on these. I say it like that every time. Oh, they can't, and, and, they can't not do it. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? And so of course, sometimes I'll have a little QR code right there. Can you do it right now, John? You uh -huh. know, and we just get it done. Same thing on the commercial side. If you, if, if these young guys, some of you young guys listening, even some of you veterans, I know we get complacent and like, you know, all oh, my business already has a hundred reviews, whatever. It doesn't matter, man. Like, I, I don't want my competition to even be close to me. I, I want to be 100 plus more, you know. And so I've been in, we finished up commercial work. I'll have the whole damn office. Hey, Chelsea, Amy, can you do, a fight? can you do, you know, Boom. we're doing everybody. We're do hey, let's go to the next one and get some more reviews, you know. Dude, that is such a great strategy that you're using. And and truly, you know, what you were talking about and in, in just busting ass there is something that I was reading earlier, and and I'm a big fan of Robert Greene. Um, a lot of his books, you know, some of them are they're they're all super thick and and really just heady. You got to take your time. The sad thing is, is they're the size of a phone book, so taking your time is going to take forever. But what you do read will hit you differently. And and he talks about Sun Tzu in in his book of the 33 Strategies of War, talking about Sun Tzu putting the army on what's called death ground. And, uh, you know, if you're not, I don't know if you like to read or anything, but this is very, you did this, it, whether or not you know it, you put the army on death ground, similar to Cortez, where he talks about burning the ships. That's become a real popular quote now. That was Cortez burning the ships, putting the army into a position that it either succeeds or it dies. Right. And truthfully, if you put yourself in something like that, you will fight three times harder. It has been proven across the board. If you back yourself into a corner, you will come out fighting harder. And 2016, 2017 was my my similar time with my divorce and everything. I, I truly had five hundred dollars to my name, and it was a it was going to be a long drawn out custody battle where if you wielded basically, I figured out if you wielded time with my son against me, Aaron's light bulbs clicked on. Like that was the thing that ignited my busting ass. And it was just, there was no hours to the day. It was just all 24 hours for me. I didn't care. I didn't really, I slept if I needed to. And a lot of guys, I don't know that they understand that type of thing. And I don't necessarily recommend that completely. I do recommend a good 16 hour day if you're getting started, <laughs> mm -hmm. but the whole, you know, sleeping and then waking up super early going and doing it. It was it was hard on me mentally, hard on me physically, but I had to get it done and it worked. So right. putting a man in a position to do what he has to do and watch him come out swinging. I think that's beautiful. Putting yourself in that death ground position. Check out Robert Green if you ever get a chance. That book is. Yeah, I got to go back and read that because it wasn't I, don't, I didn't remember that. Another guy brought that. to me. So check that out, dude. That's that's huge. So now you've got three businesses. And they're all three with Footbridge. And I remember Gary Trent telling me about you in the interview. He was like, dude, Dom is going to pass me up, bro. He's hustling, dude. I was like, who is this Dom guy? <laughs> you know, I wanted to know who you were. And now it's good to see you. It's uh, and I, I give credit, a lot of credit to Gary in terms of the um, how to operate, how to do a power washing business. Right. How, like, uh, how do you downstream SH? How do you what chemical? And he's helped me out a lot. He's helped me out a lot. Um, one thing that I'm doing is one, one thing. The reason I, I did want to come on here is because I want to tell some of these jokers, if you're just starting out, charge out the ass. If you're coming here and trying to do a ninety nine dollar job, you, you're pissing me off. A, because it, 
I don't care if you have a 2.5 gallon Ryobi, you could still charge 2,500, 4,500. It just takes you four days. You better. It's going to take you four damn days. <laughs> like, exactly. You know I mean? And, and I, I see these, man, I see these guys starting up left and right here in Oklahoma. And that's great. I will say Oklahoma is not like Alabama. It's not like Florida. We are doing more restoration, red dirt removal. We're dealing okay. with acids. We're dealing with um, like crazy off. The, I mean, there's mold here, but people still aren't used to getting their driveway cleaned. And even if they are, it's minuscule in terms of what you guys are doing over there in Tennessee and Florida, Georgia. It's not it's night and day difference. So sure. we're doing a lot of um, restoration acid jobs, which, you know, you're wearing a mask. You're dealing with one restore. You should be charging a ton of money for these jobs. So I'm coming on here to say, if you're just starting out, or if you're still in the business, some of these jokers who've been doing it for five plus years are charging beer money. And I'm just like, dude, what are you guys doing? You know, so you're just, you're kind of pissing me off with, with the pricing here. You're and, exactly right, man. You're and, exactly and, it, right. and my goal is if we're not doing $200 an hour, then it's not, we're not profitable. If, if I can make $200 an hour, whether it's window cleaning or, or, or power washing, Boom, we're in the green. You know, stuff's getting paid for. We're we're not just paying for stuff. We're not just paying our operational costs, but we're putting money aside to buy to buy assets. I'm only doing this. We're doing this power washing business so that we can move money towards the solar company business. Which you you might be asking me, what other business businesses I have done with Footbridge? One of them is the solar company. Now, tell that's me about that, dude. Tell me yeah, about. So that, tell me, just give me the brief rundown if it's to, a big story. Give it. Give to, it to me. No, it's a small story. It's totally small. What I did was, I I was sitting here. Uh, this was about a year ago, and I said, man, you know, if it ever goes south, I keep seeing the solar, you know, the solar gig. People are doing this whole solar thing. It's becoming very, very common. In fact, it's becoming um, almost necessary. Some states are requiring it. Some cities are. And so I was like, screw it. Let's just start a solar business. So. <laughs> I, uh, it was in August. Most power washing companies are slower in August. Now I'm not saying everybody is, but I was because I was just starting out for two weeks. I went to go work for a guy for a company for two weeks, learn how to do some solar stuff, where to, where to order it at, where, you know, how to do some basic minor stuff. And I went there to meet people who know how to do solar. I met a master electrician. I met a journeyman electrician. I met wow. guys who are willing to Say, hey, dude, when you're ready, I'm ready to jump on board. Boom, I got three contacts. Boom, I have a potential business set aside when I have the capital ready. First thing you do is, like you've always said, get the website going. Get the leads. So now my phone's going off the hook. I don't have a solar company. I just have people calling, Bro. right? I don't even have inventory yet. I don't even have inventory. You ain't even I'm, real yet, but you got the site real. set exactly. up. I exactly. love it, dude. Exactly, exactly. So Guerrilla tactics. Now, Gorilla, baby. Hey, fake until you make it. And so now that is a you know five year long long term plan. Once I have a hundred K to buy the initial um the initial uh three to four orders of solar panels, boom, we have the operational costs to to fund payroll, to fund, you know, some 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 managers and get that going. But that's down the road. We're also the money that I make now in Urban Cleaning Pros, which which to add on, you you're, you said I had three businesses. So one is Urban Cleaning Pros, power washing. Okay. The second is the solar one, which is not real yet. The third is another power washing website in Tulsa. I'm in OKC. Tulsa is about uh, 45, something like that. Is it's that an right? hour, 30 minutes, oh, hour, okay. 30 minutes. I'm so off. what I'll do is we get a bunch of leads from there. I'll schedule two, three jobs in a day and drive up there, make a thousand a day, at least a thousand to make it worth our time. And then come back, you know, sometimes stay the night up there. So dude, these are this is beautiful because a all right. So all of these work together. And I love how you're leaning into the high ticket. So you're doing pressure washing, which is obviously more high ticket generally than window cleaning. Um, but solar is obviously very high ticket and that is install. But now you also have the cleaning of the solar that's going right. to be a deal within there, which works perfectly with your water fed pole and your pressure washer. So you got this little ecosystem that you're developing of just high ticket high items. Ticket, yep. That's sure. what it is, man. I love for it. Sure. Trying to think big, man. I, you know, it's like, no one, I, I didn't know anything going into power washing and I'll, I don't know anything about solar, but it's just like, screw it, man. We're, we're just going to go into it, believing that we can do it. And it's about finding the right people. Oh, Johnny, you know, Johnny. Okay. You know, Bob. 
okay, let's get him over here. Let's talk to him and bring him on the team, you know? Um, so three companies and, and we're going to start a, a fourth one here soon. Jeez. I've already submitted a new profile. This company, I, I don't want to talk too much about it, but it's sure. basically, it's, it's more of a, um, it's a backup business in terms of if everything goes south, right? Power washing goes away. Inflation, it gets worse and worse. People are having a hard time paying for food or rent or whatever. Sure. I want this business, you know, it's revolved around, um, it's something that's absolutely needed. Right. Okay. So boom, boom. Well, we got that going. We got that working. You know what I mean? So I, it just helps me sleep better at night. It helps me just, okay. There's always something. I don't want to put all my eggs you're in a machine, basket. bro. Like you remind me a lot of my brother Pierce who has like four or five trucks now. And he is just, he is a machine. Pierce, Pierce is going to have a kid coming up here in August, but he hasn't up until this point. And so, Pierce doesn't know the days exist. He doesn't know what day it is. He doesn't mm -hmm. care. He's like, if there's money in Orange Beach, if there's money, he's like, I'm going there or one of my guys is going to be there. You know, he has a drive vent cleaning thing that he does. He, he makes bank on. He just like drives up, cleans, you know, 200 bucks and leaves. Yeah. Like he's very smart. And, and the work ethic that he puts out there is like you, it's almost like second to none. There's just, you can't beat the guy. You just need to compete with him or be friends with him. That's <laughs> yeah. what you need to do. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's got, Pierce has over 300, 3,000 gallons of tank, uh, of bleach in a tank wow. on site, right? He's got, he's got the local guys buying from him. So like he, he, you know, he's, he's built it into a, a thing now. So it's, you remind me a lot of him though. Very, very industrious, just going to make it happen. Who cares? Like, that's how you kind of got to go into this business is like, you really can't fail. Like you fail if you just quit. Mm. Like, that's how it is. Like, I feel like my life has been me being a, kind of like a ping pong ball in a wind tunnel, man. Like I, my buddies used to, you know, kind of talk, poke a little fun at me because I would bounce. I would bounce to the different things and I was in music for years and I, I was in insurance before that. And the funny thing is, is like, they didn't understand my mentality was like, I'm trying to find like the quickest way to cash. I'm, 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 I'm staying here for a second. I'm going to lock into something, exactly. but I'm, I'm yep. trying to dissect it just enough to where I don't have so much invested as far as time, as far as money that I can't get out easily if it's not what I'm into. It wasn't me just being indecisive. It was me trying to figure out the mechanisms. Like, all right, is it high ticket? Is it low weight, non-perishable? Like, how can I dissect this thing and really see if it's something I want to invest my time into and money? Because, dude, I value my time more than I value anything. Yep. Like me being able to play with my son, bro, I'm going to tell you, I wouldn't have to make that much money as long as I could just do that whenever I wanted. And like that is it at the end of the day for me. Like, yeah, I want to travel. I want to do some fun things. But when you start being able to do that stuff, you start being able to like, huh, like this, the, the material stuff isn't really. A doesn't big, matter. It wasn't. the. It's not the same lure as no. it was for me when I was 17. No, like, I was like, close. all this stuff, you know, like cool cars, all this. Of course, I like some cool cars, but it's like, that's not the motivation now in, in right. my age, you know. So you got four businesses almost. So you're, you're going to start the four and all three, the current three, the solar urban cleaning pros and the other pressure washing are all with footbridge. Now you got to tell me, why did you decide to triple down on a footbridge website? The results, man. Footbridge is outstanding. I mean, the people they have working there, of course, you know, you have to post projects, which you're just basically sending photos in a brief description. That's what a project is, right? Boom. Give them a few weeks. Now they're getting, obviously, Footbridge is gaining popularity. I mean, they, they're they adding more people there. The work, I mean, they're, right. you know, They've got more it might be all different. you freaking making their business. So it is, you, but 30% no. of the business. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, man, they, they're on point. They're dialed in. Their reviews speak for themselves, right? We all look at reviews. If we go to a restaurant, just look at the reviews. and. Um, I was like, damn, you know, they basically made my business in, in the power washing industry. Yeah. 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 You have to physically go work, sure. but my phone is ringing because of them. 
So I said, well, you know what? Let's uh, let's start a power washing business in Tulsa. Boom, let's start a solar company. I said, you know, you guys are in six, uh, I would say seven months. You know, if you're hustling now, if you're if you're thinking I'm just going to go lollygag around and not Amen. get any reviews. Hey, cool. Nothing's going to happen. But just quit. Um, get out of the business, dude. Like if you're going to do that, just get out. You know what I mean? It's yeah, dude. Um, you got to hustle in this game, man. You got to hustle. You you got to hustle. And uh, so right now, it, it might sound like I'm. I want to be the best power washer. I do not want to be the best power washer. I I don't. When I introduce myself, I don't want. Hey, I own Urban Cleaning Pros, a power washing company. No, 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 no. I'm an entrepreneur, and so right now we're making a crap ton of money, and we're trying to get into the real estate game, right? That's what I wanted to do from the the beginning was have cash to buy real estate. Mm -hmm. I didn't have any money. Yeah. So now we're making great money. Boom. Let's start up. Let's start these separate LLCs. Let's move some money over here. Tax man, you know, and Mm -hmm. boom, we're going to go buy some property this week. Cash money. Let's just, you know, boom. let's start going, baby. Let's just, let's hit it. Let's hit the ground running. And so. So speak on that. Hold on. Let me. Okay. So when it talks about, because that was the whole lean and mean thought, right? Was like, don't brand your life as a pressure washer. Right. Like use these high margin services that you can take use home that money. Ser- exactly. use the money buy and, assets and yeah. they're like oh well you know you listen to the real estate guys and i listen to a lot of them that we probably all listen to and it's like yeah you gotta have you know 10 percent down 20 percent down whatever and i'm like dude where am i gonna get like 200k working a a a job like because everything in nashville is a million dollars if you're yeah. gonna buy now it's like, or more. And it's like, okay, well, before pressure washing, I'm like, where am I going to get this type of just income that's yeah. sitting, waiting for me to put it down to get the loan itself? You know what exactly. I mean? Exactly. Yep. And and I say this all the time. I say this all the time. I'm like, if I see an employee, I feel bad because they're stuck in the matrix still. Mm. Their mind doesn't understand like what, to conceive 25 to five grand in a day. It doesn't like... You might tell your buddy that, you know, but they don't, they, they think it's impossible, totally. you know, a, until you work with somebody. I mean, damn, I'm showing my brother, like, look, dude, we made three grand in three hours. And and then he's just like, holy, holy cow. You know, like <laughs> I wasn't making that in a month, you know, like what, like what? And then I'm just like, well, and then I look at him and I'm say, what if we could do 10 K in a day? You know, let's, what, what can we do? And that goes to solar. Like, think bigger man it, it goes back to um I, we can do anything we, we can literally do anything if we just try it we just go try it we just set out and we we wake up and we grind and we go hard you know you just and bounce so, into you just bounce into the walls man like people are so scared to like hit a roadblock or get stuck and I will tell you, man, being a creative has helped me in that way because I wrote music for 10 years. I was a published writer. Like that's what I did for a living. And it was like me, like getting stuck in a song. It just doesn't matter if you get stuck. You got to finish the damn song. Right. So right. like poof, I hit it all. I literally, that's all I do is run into walls all day, but somehow I'm zigzagging forward. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I eventually get there. And what you're saying is, you bump into the electrician, right? You go work, you check it out. You go to the solar thing, you're figuring it out. You get an electrician, you get another contact. You've already figured out the three pillars you need to hire immediately to do the first job. Exactly. exactly. Like you yeah. already know. I got right. job right. one. Right. I got the three guys. This guy does this. This guy does this. And this guy's an expert in this. That's all I need. Here's my margin. Here's what the average price goes for. Here's my Here's what's going out the door to these guys. Boom, boom, boom. Duplicate 10 leads down the line. I know what my costs are. I know where I'm getting my stuff. You already got a little business set up. Yep. Boom. Now it's now you'll figure it out as you go. Right. And and, uh, let me add to that, Aaron. Like you'll have doubters, right? I'm sure you you had doubters, somebody in your family, one of your friends, whatever. Oh, sure. And and the guys that are trying to get into this business today, right? I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to say something to you because here here's an example. Before I started the power washing business, I was I remember it like it was yesterday, dude. I was talking to my brother in law. Said, "Hey man," and this time I had already got my squeegee, so I'm cleaning windows for like forty bucks. You know, like right, right. I thought that was cool. You know, clean clean windows for forty bucks in in an hour. 
I remember I was talking to my brother-in-law who owns the gym, right? Who owns the gym that I was working at. Oh, he, this is the, this is the worst individual to yep. talk to. Yep. <laughs> so he's like, he's like, he's like, uh, I said, Hey man, I'm going to buy this power washer for 15 grand on my credit card. I was like, you think I should do it? And he tells me, no, nah, man, you shouldn't, you shouldn't just play it safe. And I'll never forget that, man. And I, and I just looked at him like, like for real, dude, like, no, no, like give it a shot. No, nothing. And, and that will stick with me for the rest of my life, you know? And, 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 and now, and now he's asking me when I'm coming back to him and, I, and these big ass companies in Oklahoma city are calling me like, get, want me to schedule. And I'm, we're doing 30 grand in a month. You know, he's just like, how, what, how are you doing it? You know, like what? And I said, well, first, you know, I just believed in myself, you know, <laughs> Dude, you know, it's, so it's just interesting. wild, man. It's People wild. want you to do well. They just don't want you to do better than them. Yeah. And they speak from that insecurity uh, more often than not. Yep. And you have to even watch like, you know, I had a good childhood, but a lot of people, this is their father. Or this is their mother. And, you know, they say the road to hell is paved on good intentions. And you have to, you really have to take that into consideration heavily that your own parents may not like want you to fail, but they definitely, your dad definitely still has an ego. Okay. Like he has an ego and he may grow out of it. Usually they do probably around 60. They start lightening up. You know what I mean? I remember my grandfather, he was a 49 year merchant Marine chief engineer. All right. Like just actual, an actual sailor (laughs) and cuss like one. And I remember when that, that edge diet kind of went away for him where it was Mm -hmm. just like, I hope that you just do amazing things, son. But there was a time that he was like me. You know what I mean? He was an animal, dude. He was like, I'm coming for everything. I'm going to be the chief engineer of this boat. He didn't graduate the ninth grade. Mm. I like went to uh, Annapolis where all of these, you know, high brass kids are taking this merchant Marine test. He's a little podunk Alabama kid who quit the ninth grade and went up there and made a 96. Like he told me, Dom, he said, I went up there and I just had your mama. Your mom was just born. She was the firstborn. So it was his first kid. He said, if I didn't pass this test, I wasn't coming back. If I didn't pass the test, I wasn't coming back home. And that's death ground. That's burning the ships. Yep. That's literally putting yourself in that position. You're doing that. Dude. You're extending yourself out. You're like going in, you're infiltrating like solar. You know what I mean? Like you're running like psyops over here, bro. Dude, you're, dude you're I was in the, <laughs> I was in the warehouse. I was in the warehouse before anybody got to the office. I'd get there at 6 a.m. I'm looking at the packaging, like, all right, they ordered it from this company in California. <laughs> Boom. Let me chat, take picture. Ch- 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 you know, and then I'm going in. Hey, hey, bro, you want to start a business with me? We're talking on the side. All right, yep. You got me. All right, cool. Yep, Are you disgruntled? You Are you disgruntled? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I was doing that to everybody. Like, hey, you like this stuff? All right, come on. You want to come over here? You know, I was just lighting it up. Start, man. That's lighting how they it up. Start. I love in that. Fact, in fact, in fact, the owner. This was like three months down the road. I had snapped a couple of photos on the roof, right, for the Google My Business. Like, yep, got these installed pictures. Put it on my website. The owner. Three months later, he's like, hey, you got some, you got some, where'd you get these pictures from? I said, well, uh, you know, I don't remember where those came from, but hey, you know what? Don't worry about it. We, we'll get those off right away. <laughs> <laughs> where'd you get this? Uh, I don't know where to Well, go. hey, I mean, I was, you know, cleaning the solar panels. You know? <laughs> hey, it's an innocent, innocent mistake, my friend. You know what I hey, mean? But, but we're, 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 we're constantly grinding, man. We're trying to go after it and if you're not making mistakes you're never gonna you just sit at home and nothing ever is gonna happen you know so i i know we got i know we're short on time Aaron. i don't know how much how many more minutes you got left we got like nine left on the nine minutes okay cool but but you know i love that you've got your three businesses going you know obviously you we reached out i connected with you because you you reached out to me and said hey dude i got three businesses with footbridge and i thought that was just like whoa you know what i mean like that's insane to me that like a guy not only believes in footbridge as much as i do but he believes in it three times right in three different businesses in three different areas he's like the customer service is great obviously the product works right um the service works and you've tripled down into it and um hey buddy i'm on the i'm on the phone all right 
All right, I'll come out there in a second. All right, baby. And you've obviously tripled down into it, and it's going great for you. 100%. That's awesome, dude. So <clears throat> I know we got, what do we got, about eight minutes left here. Dom, you know, what is the next move for you? Is it? Is it, I know you got the fourth business, and then are you just going to, like, dominate solar OKC? Is that, like, the plan? Um, You know, it really. Because that's in the cards. To, like, I believe the cards. that for you. Yeah, it, it, go, it, it goes back to what you said. Where's the money? H how can I get the money right now, right? So with this fourth business that we're about to start, I know the money will, will come in pretty quick. And it really, the reason I started that is so I could shift with what happens in the world today, right? So either way, we'll be good. I know we'll be good. We'll be fine. You know, what? We'll, we'll do a little play with, with some real estate on the side. And Footbridge is going to carry us two hundred dollars a month. I mean, I don't even know what they charge now. I'm assuming it's around two hundred bucks. Two hundred bucks, yeah. Two hundred. I mean, that is a minuscule. If you don't have the money, go get a credit card and put it on a credit card. Because if you don't have a, and I can tell you this, so many customers are like, "Oh my god, your website! The website was so beautiful. It was <laughs> easy, you know." And then you know Johnny A with a one pressure washer and it looks like it was built in 1995. Yeah, they're gonna pick me just because the website's better. It looks you good, know? man. It's it's amazing to me when people are like, you know, two hundred dollars. I'm like, like that is literally, nothing. if if they understood, <laughs> I would literally go light two hundred dollars on fire <laughs> yes. and then pay my two hundred dollars yeah. for how much they've done for me and my business and how well the SEO has worked. It's been amazing if you just follow the steps. I talk about the steps a lot. And I try to guide guys through that process. You'd be amazed at how many people don't listen. But I I beat the dead horse, as many people know. They're probably tired of me hearing about it. But the issue is, is that now we have a few. I think you're you're definitely like the top guy as far as how many businesses you have. But we have a lot of guys who are, they've been with Footbridge for two years, right? And they are just crushing. Like Gary Trent, downtown OKC, he's just like crushing, right? And Starkey up in Claremore, right? He's he's crushing. He's doing well. Uh, Alex Hammond, a lot of these different guys, myself. It's just amazing to see like the guys who just, I don't know, I told them to do like this, 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 and this. And they were just like, okay. And they go do it. Yep. And it fucking works. <laughs> you yep. know what I mean? I'm like, exactly. I want you to win because they don't understand like when you win, I win. See, it's it's a symbiotic relationship. I want you to do better. I do better. We all do better. A rising tide lifts all boats. 100%. Dude, well, I appreciate you coming on the call, man. Thanks for giving me your time on this Sunday. I know you got a little girl and I got a little boy. I know I'm going to go eat some ice cream. <laughs> yeah, we just came back from snow cones and she's looking at me now. So we're get, we'll probably go to the mall, play video games and hang out for the rest I of the day. I love it. I'm going to go see Maverick. I've heard it's good. It was good. It was good. Awesome, yeah, dude. I, I saw it with my wife last week and so. I definitely say go for it, man. It brings back some nostalgic, you know, memories and stuff. So totally. Well, let's connect soon. All right. All right, man. All right, brother. Thanks. Later.